it, it's Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb. X-Play isn't just a video game review show. It's also the home of the Norman Wymanetta Center for Advanced Video Game and Logical Inquiry, primarily as a front to test semi-toxic cosmetics on our spare interns. But we also strive to push the boundaries of what is known about video games. So please enjoy this look into the resilience of the various consoles, featuring our own Dr. Morgan Von Webb. Hello. I am Morgan Van Webb, and welcome to my web of destruction. Yes, today we will be destroying what many of you deem all too precious. We will be violating your sensibilities and your pocketbook by smashing these consoles to pathetic bits. Which one will survive? Wrong? Yes. Very, very wrong, but oh, oh, so exciting. Test one, weight of the world. Survive test one. Let's see. Very nice. PS2, how about you? Oh, it's so sad. Nobody is home. Hello. Such a failure, such a failure. Oh, Xbox, let's see how you do. Test two, the sledge of death. I will crush these trinkets with this hammer. The sledge of death has had its way with the poor little GameCube. But I will prove that the beauty is only skin deep. Congratulations! You will move on to the next round. Test three. The demon drop. It's a long, long way down. There is no way to turn you on. You lose. Oh, did somebody have a little tumble? The strongest one survived. Now the losers must be punished. Spread loss, baby, let me pump and toss lights off. Close off, up in our walls, we are night. My juicy crew hold me tight and ride right. All squishy, please me. Right. Apparently, when I put on a lab coat, I turn Austrian. I never understood it. As have I. The resiliency of the GameCube is quite impressive. We well, yes, as they target a younger market, they probably design them to withstand more slobbering and whining and not knowing how to do long division. I just assume they had to build them strong to withstand the sucking force produced by most GameCube iterations of the multi-platform titles. Mm. 